Hi, I'm George Argo. I'm the service protector guy and I'm also the owner of Argo Electrical Services. This morning we're going to be showing you how to uninstall a 200 amp service and reinstall a 400 amp service for a residential property. Now you see Curtis installing the 400 amp service. He's securing it against the hardy plank. Now Curtis is preparing the service feeds for the two 200 amp panels for the 400 amp service. He's carefully cutting away the outer insulation, being careful not to cut the insulation on the wire. Now Curtis is pulling away the insulation off the second set of feeders. Now Curtis is installing the grounding lugs. There were two existing grounds already on the 200 amp panel and Curtis is going to install a third grounding lug with a ground number four ground wire and an eight foot five eight ground rod copper to increase the uh, grounding protection of his electrical system. Hey Curtis what size drill bit did you use to put in the bottom of that can for that number four ground wire? Quarter inch. Okay. Now Curtis is landing the ground and the neutral conductors into the neutral bar in the 400 amp load side of the service. He is also coating the aluminum wire with no locks which keeps it from corroding over time. Now Curtis is landing both lines in the A panel. Notice that he uses the no locks again. Now Curtis is landing the lines for B panel in the 400 amp service. He's also being careful not to over torque the lugs but by the same token not to under torque the lugs. You can see he practices bending the wire and fitting it before he actually cuts it to his desired length. That way the wire does not end up short. Hi, I'm George with Argo Electrical Services and I am the service protector guy. This concludes our 400 amp residential installation. As you can see, Curtis has landed both of the load side line wires for A and B existing panels. Also included are two earth number four ground wires. There were two that were existing and we added a new one with an eight foot ground rod to increase the grounding ability of this system. Also, you have four alt neutrals for each perspective circuit and four alt grounds that are both lugged to the neutral bar for the 400 amp service. All of these are coated with no locks. Also, Curtis has left your 200 amp circuit breakers for A and B existing panels in the off position. This keeps any existing load to be on the system when the power provider, which in this case is Cobb EMC, turns the power back on. At this point, we're standing here waiting for our inspection. Here you'll see this is my permit for Cherokee County. And if your electrical contractor is not pulling permits and doing inspections, you could be in danger. Not only are we licensed by the state of Georgia, we carry $2 million worth of insurance, and we deal with the county governments as, or city governments as needed. Call on Argo Electrical Services today for all your electrical needs. My phone number is 
1437. You can also find us at Gainesville Georgia Electrical Services on Facebook or Argo Electrical on Twitter. Thank you. Have a nice day.